Welcome back. We've got a barking dog over here. What if Ash knows it and maybe can be quiet? <laughs> that dog's always making a racket. Indeed. Oh my. Hey, old boy, you're looking good. You're rough. My, he doesn't bark at you, Ash. Because he's not stupid. Come on now, don't go barking at everything you see. There we go, he's all sorted. Lovely, well done, Ash. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's up here. Yes, surrounded by Calvert Spires. Ooh, that looks like a pressure plate. Interesting. Good. Looks like the place didn't get ransacked. Hold on. Is this perhaps... What, you want to drink or something? Sorry, there's nothing in there. Well, if your family absent, there's no point in our going in. However, my curiosity is ever so slightly piqued. Can you blame us? Damn it, stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes. Not a big deal. Want to go in? Go in. Okay. Then we will happily accept your invitation. Pardon us. In you go. bit sparse. It's only been three months, so the dust shouldn't be too bad. Looks like the place might have had some visitors too. I can see why, it's a nice place. Agreed, there's a certain warmth to it, is there? I assume this is thanks to your mother. Yep, this kind of place you'd expect any drink-pouring old lady to live. Even if she did look young for her age. Take a look for yourself. Whoa! You called her an old lady, but she's beautiful! She looks so stylish, and I can tell she had a big heart, too. Meanwhile, you look very obnoxious. But you both look happy here. Yeah, it's not like we were starving or anything. She made good money working the night shifts. She had enough to keep us little punks fed and still managed to put some away. But yeah, I guess I am grateful to her. Most people wouldn't spend eight years raising some brat one of their regulars threw at him. I see. You must have been pretty young when you got adopted. If she passed away six years ago, eight years before that, you would have been... three or four? Hell, I don't even remember. What I can say for sure is that she was a very caring and strong woman. Maybe a little too trusting for her own good, though. Oh, and her cooking was so damn bad, I had to take over myself at one point. <laughs> what a cute family you must have been. She sounds like a truly wonderful mother. If you don't mind me asking, how did she pass away? A damn tumor. Took her away in the blink of an eye. She was always looking out for everyone else. But Adio sure as hell didn't look out for her. Well, life's a bitch. What else is new? Ash. <laughs> All right, buck up, people. Don't need your tears making this place all humid. It's supposed to be a dry climate. <laughs> I admit, that's pretty clever. And surprisingly accurate, given that we're in the middle of a valley. On that note, I think I might let some air in. What do you say? It seems like someone's been cleaning the place, but it's still a bit dusty. Works for me. I could use a breeze. I like learning little bits about Ash's backstory. After letting the air in for a while, everyone left Ash's house, and he locked up. Because it's like it starts to make you understand his mood. Why he is the way he is. Phew. We checked out everything, but what a waste. We haven't learned anything of use. I figured that's how it'd end up. People waltz in and out of here all the time, so 
No one local is going to care enough to notice any new faces. That's too bad. Should we end our investigation for today? We did so much work. It'd be nice to have some progress. <laughs> well then, have I got a pretty little nugget for you. <laughs> have you now? <laughs> Oh, it's just you, Miguel. Hey, Ash. Nice to see you back here. Ash and Chevalier and students of Thor's Branch Campus, welcome to Raquel. My. How do you know who we are? Do you know him? Well, yeah. He's just another shady old man who sells gossip and crap. Hmm. So he's an informant. Damn, we ain't seen each other in how long? You're already taking the piss out of me. Hmm. Thought you wanted to know about those Jaegers. You know what we want. Wait, so you can help us out? Oh, not without striking up a fair deal first. Since Ash is a friendly face, I'll make it cheap. Uh, I suppose fair to an informant means payment. You heard him. What's the plan, Instructor? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. Alright, then, uh... No deal, I'm afraid. Our investigation is an exercise for our military academy. Using Mira to buy our way to completion defeats the purpose. What? That's a good point. It wouldn't look very good when we're in uniform. It'd be like if police officers bought their way through an investigation. And we can't verify his information is reliable. Sorry, but as you can see, we'll have to decline. Wait. Damn it, then I'll just have to tell you for free. Really? <clears throat> There's an area along the canyon to the west called the Rock Patio. They say strangers have been coming in and out around there. There really are Jaegers skulking around. Well, that's where you'll find them. Or a patio, was it? I saw a passage to the south on our way here. This is oddly generous of you. Uh, what can I say? I'm doing it for you, Ash. And I'm only doing this once, so just take the freebie. People don't usually go by there, so they won't even see you coming. Good luck now. Hmm. He was nicer than I thought he'd be. Looks aside, his information was also good. His personality sucks, but the info he sells is usually legit. It's the usually there, mate. As I said before, this is all part of your field exercises. I want you to decide how to use this information. Us? Hmm, what to do? We still have some time before it gets dark. I prefer if we made some progress. Okay, then let's hit the road. You two are right. No point in us staying here. I have no objections. Look at you, plain stupid. I know you're doing it on purpose. So my hunch was right. Don't worry. I'll never be far behind. Even then, the experience might do you some good, Ash. Be prepared. Damn it. What's wrong? It's nothing. Our patio is through the west entrance, let's get going. Yeah. Ah, but not before we're as prepared as we can be. Might be a good idea for me to do that at this point, get prepared. See if there's a scene out here and then I might go off and do stuff. There you go. Rock Patio is supposed to be south of here, right? Yes, it shouldn't be too far. Still, stay vigilant. That's it. I want to go to Rock Patio, which is all the way down there, but I'm going to get some stuff sorted. Like they said I should do. I don't know what it is, but this music always seems out of place. I can see how this place received the name Rock Patio. Seriously, it makes you wonder how all this formed, though. 
Listen to that echo. Sound travels far here. Let's leave the bikes and horses here and continue on foot. There's horses? Try to keep the chatter to a dull roar too. Yeah, we wouldn't want any Jaegers to know we were coming. Yuna. Yeah, she'll figure it out. The time is 3pm. Commencing search. Alright, so somewhere around here we should be able to find the stuff we need for a quest. I think is yeah, you can see the yellow stain sort of thing on the wall. See those yellow walls? Here's where we're going to find our sulfur. Ooh, what is that smell? It's the smell of hydrogen sulfide. I'd rather not expose myself to that odor any longer than I have to. Let's make this quick. The group obtained sulfur! At the same time, this chest. And then I want to get out of here, back to the exercise camp. Such though, I know he said the horses, but it's like we don't have the option at the moment, do we? I know we have the bikes, but the horses? Um, give gunpowder. Should I give Gustav the salt, pepper, and sulfur? Yep. Here's the salt, pepper, and sulfur. Is this all right? Green gave Gustav the salt, pepper, and sulfur. Oh, thank you. This should be more than enough. We'll get started right away. In that case, mind if we take a look? You won't know that I gave him the salt, pepper instead of the salt, Peter. <laughs> After that, Gustav prepared for mixing the gunpowder. Now I just need to let it dry and it'll be done. Nice work, Gustav. You're pretty handy when it comes to a panzer sword at maintenance, huh? Well, in a mining town, once you're 12, you're able to start making money working. Not to mention the Aragon mines weren't anywhere near as well staffed as Saxon, Saxon iron mines, so workers were always in demand. My skills were born from necessity, growing up there. Hmm, the Aragon mines. They've really been ramping up production in order to meet demand for all the Panzer Soldats being built. Yeah, my father's actually the head foreman there. He said everyone there is completely overworked. Not to mention the working conditions there have been steadily getting worse. I see. Sorry. Probably shouldn't have brought all that up. But after everything I've learned here at school, it made me realize there's no way the stuff happening back home could have been avoided. I might not know yet what I can do from here on out. But I do know I want to work my butt off. For my family. And my home. Gustav. <laughs> well, aren't you a reliable one? <laughs> Check this guy out. I see. His attitude is commendable. I could learn a thing or two from him. Well said. Who knew Gustav was so determined? Everyone here is growing up bit by bit. Oh, sorry. I guess I got carried away. Anyway, thanks to you guys, I've got enough gunpowder now. And I've got some pepper left over. I don't know where that came from. If you've got something else I can help with, just give me a shout. And I'll put my all into it. Kick you. Alright, let's head on back then. That's all, all that way sorted now. Now we just need to head the opposite way. I won't turbo through because I'll probably end up running into things. Especially in like the confined places here. Huh. This is one weird place. Indeed. Isn't nature wonderful? Make a hell of a tourist destination if not for all the monsters. <laughs> that it would. Hmm. This is a good angle. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo of a very. Got it. I'll send it to her later. Like, hello, mate. Treasure located. This is why not not turboing is a good idea. Even though I could slash at it, make it pause for a second. I can actually get through faster for what I want to do. Like, it took me ages to learn this. If I don't turbo, I can get through faster. It's just the allure of the speedy boof. I 
I've still not sorted them, I don't think. Like, <laughs> had all that time to sort stuff, and now it's like, oh yeah, not done that bit either. Like, damn it. Hold on. I don't sense anything. Seriously, this place got shady written all over it. Perhaps we were mistaken, or maybe they changed their plans. Anyone care to tell me? Of course, we were set up. An informant wasn't an informant at all. Someone must have hired him. So they led us on a wild goose chase. All for the purpose of getting us out here. But you knew before any of us, didn't you? Something felt half partway through our search, yes. Okay, slow down for a sec, all of you. Wasn't that man an acquaintance of yours, Ash? Why would he... What? You wouldn't sell out an acquaintance? Man, you really got a heart of gold. Look, I don't know how much he got paid, but I can't imagine it cost much to turn him. I'm guessing somebody wanted to put the hurt on the annoying school kids sticking their noses where they didn't belong. My thoughts exactly. I'm sure they're also aware that if we were to go missing, the branch campus and the provincial army would come looking. You've clearly thought this through. She really has. Ash picked up on the con, but Musee's looking at the long game. That stupid old geezer. Thinks he can mess with us, does he? How did I not notice? Arr. You know, you're being loud. Right, but now what do we do? We can't see anyone. Does that mean they're watching us? No, I don't feel anyone's presence around here. Might be waiting for us a little deeper in. Schwarzer? Who do you think's behind this? Who'd use a fake informant to get us out here just to beat the hell out of us? Well... That's how things like. I, I remember being so confused by this the first time through, and it's like, I do believe it's it's down to, like, there were certain things around this point in the game where they actually patched it and updated the translation. It's like, yeah, it's another Yoko call. The people who did this did to get us out here because we were sniffing around Raquel. They knew we were from Thor's branch campus, but hadn't made direct contact with us. My money's on the fourth Jaeger call. The fourth? Why? Makes sense. We've already encountered the likes of Red Constellation and Zephyr. And the Jaegers who came in contact with on the coastal road knew about Instructor Reen. Anyone who knew what he was capable of wouldn't have staged such an obvious trap. He might have d discerned our culprit. Tch, no might about it. <laughs> Brilliant as always, Instructor Reen. So we're facing off against the enemy of the Purple Jaegers. They call them the Dragons, right? Right. Now, this is just a hunch of mine, but... That sound. Gunfire. From deeper in. And it's... I need to confirm the situation. Stay alert and follow me. Roger. Wait! Okay, now it's turbo because it feels right with the music. Like that now I can't resist. Although I do need to get it chest around here somewhere. Yeah! A chance! That looked cooler. And we do have Helix now. Still got Gale. Second form, Gale! Now! Let's go, everyone! Yeah! Understood! Yes. There! Ha. It's my Noise. turn! Did we win? Yes, we did. Ah, oh, treasure chest. Saline? Saline tubes? I'm entirely sure. I uh, don't think we need anything. In terms of healing. Get back! Ah. Hmm. 
and they're killing each other. Thing is, it was those assholes in black who dragged us out here. More accurately, the top class Jaeger called Nero. They take their name from a dragon from a northwestern fairy tale. Northwestern? Hmm. I see. It seems the purple Jaegers stuck up behind them for a surprise attack. Even then, it looks like they're holding their own. Enemy forces weakened. Mission complete. Commencing withdrawal from B5. Get back here, dammit! I can't believe they came this far just to ambush us. Divided into two groups for a pincer attack. And they're coming this way. Instructor, everyone prepare for battle, but don't attack until they do. Altina, take to the sky. Understood. Who the hell? They're the ones who are looking for us in the city. And they're working with the enemy. Damn, it's gonna hurt to have a bunch of kids who are trying to trap sneak up on you. The Thor's military kind of his branch campus. I just love that little light. Hi. We have no intention of interfering with your operations here, but we have a few questions. Thor's? They're the ones who screwed with us during the war. Wait a sec, I recognize that guy. Yashin Chevalier. Green Schwarzer. Yeah, and you're Nidhogg. If you don't want this to get ugly, well, that's what you're doing here. Ugh. This is Mund. We lost our tail. We should complete return to base. Arr? Damn it. If we weren't dealing with you, they never would have gotten away. First the Civil War, and now this. Let's see, you owe us a little payback. What? Us? We're just kids during the Civil War. I don't think they care. Neither do I. They want to dance? Let's dance. Suppressive maneuvers, everyone. Nobody needs to get hurt. Once we disarm them, we withdraw. Right. Are you making fun of us now? Better talk big once you're torn apart by that dragon fangs. All right. Let's do this. Um, let's see about. Uh, oh, of course I use that. Do I have one? Um, may as well put that out. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the help. It's my turn. And let's let's actually go with damage reduction for now, seeing as like iron will formation. We got good amount of my turn. turns coming our way. Hmm. Still prefer that because of the. Can't escape. Fire! Ooh. You're brave. Bra Hello? Brave. Brave. Break. Break bar. Didn't go down too much. I expected it too. Second form. Not at my watch. Sure. Void break, huh? Everything's just like just too far away. Of course it is. It would be, wouldn't it? Look at that one. Uh, not in my watch! Take that! Damn it! Yes! Hmm. Your wings shake! Nice. If you like a bit of freeze, it's it's all, my co turn. all come into range. It's very nice. Very nice. Uh. 
Take that! All right, Patrick. He's going to join to Jaeger Corps. My turn. Okay, we'll go with that, obviously. You're mine! There! I'm going! Hmm. So it's all things like, yeah, sure. I think maybe actually we'll go with Windblade. Make sure we get in like our damage reduction, but it's like I'd like to get more turns out. Strike! Windblade formation! Yes! Yes, indeed. Hmm. Charm it, but. Azure that, maybe we'll get the break shoot. on it. Now's our chance! It's mine! Yes! I want to try and get the break. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> ah! <There! sighs> All right. You can't I'm, there. I'm just thinking like, like who, who can get it broken and stuff like that. I'm up! Crimson Slash! I'm up! Second form? Damn. Maybe should have gone with the arts, but. Now! Come on, Ash! Yeah! That's more like it. No sledgehammer, just try and get these guys sorted, to be honest. That'd be a better idea. Wide open! Keep it up! Keep it good. Let's go below raid on them. Now, let's dance. I ain't done with you yet. Helio Raid! <laughs> Sweet dreams. Come on. Impossible. I'll cast a spell on you. <laughs> so pretty. Brilliant shot! I may have gone a little too far. God, I failed. You did. Foe suppressed. Let's continue. Damn it. He's still the Ashen Chevalier, even when he's babysitting. Babysitting? Come on, man. You know, we had no intention of fighting you. That's true. We didn't have proof that you were doing anything illegal. So until you attacked us, we didn't have any reason to report you. So let me ask you a friendly question. Who are the Purple Jaegers? Who are you fighting? You really think we're gonna answer to you? Ugh. You're not a first-rate core for nothing. My, how the turntables. You weren't part of the mission, Ancient Chevalier. But we can't afford to have you interfering with any more of our plans. Instructor? What should we do? I didn't want it to come to this, but I'm afraid I've got to tip the scales. Tina, can you hold your barrier for two minutes? Huh? You're not... Understood. Heed my call, Valimar! And cut! That won't be necessary. <laughs> you won't be needing him.
No way. Why is she here? A blade and a gun. Could she be? Suckers! Right behind you! What the hell is she riding? Th that's an Orville bike! <laughs> I know that, redhead. Valestine, the Purple Lightning! And Marquis Rogner's daughter! Oh, you recognize me? How sweet. Well, if it isn't the guys from Needhog. What's it been, a year and a half? Yeah, we can't afford to take on an A-Rake Bracer. Mundanor, withdraw! Yeah. Wait. Who were they? Who were those purple Jaegers you were fighting? We don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> but maybe you've guessed by now. <laughs> hey, are you okay? <laughs> Just fine. What a waste. Imagine what they could have told us if we kept him on a tighter leash. Thank you, you two. And here I thought you were gonna tell us to mind our own business. No way. He didn't need to bust out his divine knight for this. But wow, look at you. You're so tall. You've really turned into a man, Reen. <laughs> I guess it really has been a while, huh? You've changed a lot as well. I hardly recognized you at first. Look at you, making my heart go all a flutter. <laughs> I guess you really upped your game since graduation, huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's more people he knows. Did you attend Thor's with Instructor Ring? Well, I wasn't part of Class 7, but yeah. Angelica Rogner. I was a senior when the old Class 7 was around. Toa, one of your other instructors, is the light of my life. It's nice to meet you, kittens. So you're the daughter of House Rogner. <laughs> it's so nice to see you again, Angelica. Again? You know each other? Of course, we have a long history. Don't we, Muse? Elise and the Princess have told me all about your misadventures at St. Astraea. Now look at you. You've only gotten cuter and more devilishly charming in my absence. On the contrary, you're the real beauty. It's as if you've grown more dignified and fair every day we've been apart. Somehow it makes sense that you two know each other. Speaking of familiar faces, I thought Black Rabbit would be the only member of your class I recognized. Sup? Good to see ya. But damn. <laughs> I had no idea you used to teach Class 7. Hold on. What? You guys know each other too? You could say that. We've had our run-ins at the Guild. But I should probably introduce myself to the rest of your class. I'm Sarah Valestein, and as Ash pointed out, I'm the former instructor of Class 7. But I've since gone back to my old job at the Bracer Guild. It's a pleasure to meet you, new Class 7. I like having Sarah around. She's a bit of a bunch of fun. The name of the game, everyone. <laughs>